Hello, this is Mrs. Grainy. Today we'll be working on a snowy day scene inspired by the book, The Snowy Day. The Snowy Day was written by Ezra Jack Keats. And before he was an author, he was an artist. And being an artist was his passion. And to make the snowy day illustrations or the pictures in the book, he used a collage technique. So if you look closely at how the illustrator made this book, he used a variety of, I believe if you look closely, these are pieces of paper, construction paper. If you open up the book, you can see how he's used paint to make some of the snow, and this is likely some type of paper. And especially in this picture, you can see the different use of materials. You can see that Peter's pajamas are made out of a printed fabric or paper that he has cut out and placed on top of the Peter figure. And he's used different colored fabrics for the wallpaper. And you can see how it looks like he's almost torn paper to create images of buildings. And so today we are going to make a collage similar to the ones that Ezra Jack Keats created when he made the snowy day. So what you will need today is you'll need a, a brown crayon and a white crayon a q-tip and a paintbrush with your watercolors and some water, a pair of scissors, the snowy day supplies that were included in your take-home kit, and a glue stick. So I'm going to show you a couple of different ideas that you can create based off of some of the pictures in the snowy day, but really you can use your imagination to create uh, your own scenes, but I'm going to start with this one where Peter is sliding down the hill and I'm going to start by making this curvy line with a white crayon. Take your white crayon, you can create this curvy hill, so just start at the side of the paper and work your way down to the bottom. And then you can either color in your hill. When I was working on different ideas of pictures, I colored in my hill with the white crayon. You can also use white paint. So the paint he likely used was um, probably a tempera or a acrylic paint, but I know that everyone has watercolors, so it will show up. The white watercolor will show up on the white paper if you make the, whoops, the watercolor thick enough. So I've already put some water on here and kind of let it set. snowy day and put some of the the snow spray and then you can also if you like it when it snows outside or you can imagine that at some point Peter was outside and it was snowing by simply placing white dots on your blue construction paper you can make it look like it's snowing one of my other favorite scenes in the book is when Peter takes the stick that he's found and he's tapping it on a tree trying to get the snow to fall to the ground. If you remember that scene, he has a stick and he's tap, tap, tapping the tree. So you can take your brown crayon and just the most basic tree is just to find a midpoint on the paper and just draw a line down to the bottom and that's your trunk. 
And then you'll just want to draw from the trunk out some of the some of the branches. And you can give the tree as many branches as you would like. And then in your snowy day kit, within your take home bag, you can put snow on the tree, or you can make the snowman with cotton balls. In one of the scenes, it talks about how Peter wants to have a snowball fight. And so there's some little snowballs in here that you can glue down onto your paper, either down at the ground, at the bottom, or on the hill. Maybe there's a snowball rolling down the hill. He's rolled the snowball down the hill. Um, if you want some shiny iridescent snowflakes, you can glue those on as well. I did want to show you uh, why the sticky tack was put into the supply bag. So you can take your Peter figure and you can glue him down if you would like, or you can take some of the sticky tack, a very small amount, maybe the size of a pea, and put it on the back of him. And you can place him on the picture like that. And then he can be sliding down the hill, or he can be making a snowball. You can move him around and he will still stick to the picture. And so you can make your picture come alive and make stories that go along with your picture. You can also put Peter over by the tree. Here. And then you can put some more of the sticky tack on the stick and he can be tapping the tree similar to what he was doing in the book. Or you can put him down by the ground and maybe he's dragging his stick through the snow making his tracks. And so you can create some of the different scenes that he experienced throughout the book. I also included <clears throat> an extra piece of construction paper in case you want to draw Peter a friend. It talks about at the end of the book how Peter goes outside with a friend to play in the snow. So you can create a friend. Um, you could create a bird for the tree. And uh, that's done very easily by if you just snip the corner of your paper, that can become a bird beak. And then if you can cut out two shapes, either ovals or circles, one that's big and then one that's maybe a little smaller, you can maybe create bird for the tree that Peter sees when he is out on his snowy day. You can put him, the bird up in the tree and then you can either glue these pieces of paper together Or you can use the sticky tack to put them on so you can take the bird on and off the tree or fly him around. You can see how that kind of can look like a, a bird in a tree. So there are some ideas of what your snowy day might look like. I'm going to show you a more finished example of the scene that I made. You can see Peter is there next to his tree, standing in the snow. He's made some snowballs. Also, if you don't have your watercolors handy, I also, um, in this picture, you can just use a white crayon by simply putting it on the paper and twisting it a little bit or just making little white dots on your blue paper 
and it will look like it's snowing. I hope you enjoy this project and am looking forward to seeing all of your snowy day creations.